Well, this is after about a 15, almost a 20 minute run. Cell temperature is yeah, stabilized, maybe about 130 degrees. 125 degrees, something like that, on the internal temperature. What I don't understand is, and it might be my fault, is we're back with the uh, colored water in there. And it might be that I didn't uh, clean the cell as much as I thought I had. I let it roll until it, uh, the amperage went up to 15 amps in about 20 minutes as the cell heated up. So I'm not real happy with the, uh, I'm not real happy with this configuration. I did see one where a fellow built clamshells out of wall plates that was producing like crazy. But again, I don't think that he standardized his electrolyte and he's using lye and I don't like the idea of using lye. Let's use some sort of a base. Uh, use a base material. Salt water. Use salt water. Use baking soda. Whatever. But I have a tendency to keep away from the acidic uh, stuff. There's, it's too hard to dispose of the electrolyte and it's hard on the environment. So, anyhow, it's after about a 15 minute run and as you can see, my water clouded up again. So, there we go. I have no idea why it did that. And I can actually see an encrustation on my neutral elements down there. Between the driven elements and neutral elements, I'm seeing something happening. I'm not sure what that's about either. See, now I'm not real happy with this particular reactor. I'm going to try one more experiment using this configuration. And I'm going to go over into a different configuration. Have fun. Don't blow yourself up. And uh, maybe I'll be back in another week or so.